Yes, sir. The one and only Fernando Bunch back in the building. Yes, hey, indeed. it's been since October 2019. How you been doing, man? Amazing, amazing. You know, man, I've been amazing. Working hard, preparing to fight. You know what I'm saying? COVID wanted to come through, so, you know, daddy had to go into effect. In which, uh, you know, I'm a full-time father, so that's how I go. However, at the same time, I'm a full-time boxer, too. So I never got out of shape, never stopped working. You know what I mean? Just waiting for my time. My time is now. Hey, your time is now, man. Yes, indeed. What I've been seeing, man, you've been in good spirits. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Upbeat about stepping back into the square. Yes, sir. What was the reason for the long layoff, man? Like, I literally started home. I, I took my daughter in. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as COVID hit, I told her mother, yo, bring it, send her to me. You know what I'm saying? So, I, she started living with me. I've been I've been homeschooling from ever since last March when COVID, I mean, when COVID hit. Mm. And that ain't no joke. Yeah, I'd rather fight every day than do that again, <laughs> like, to be honest. And then, you know, like, life, life, life just been coming through. Where, you know, at the beginning of 2021, I told myself, yo, we're going to push this career forward. We got to make some sacrifices. And ever since July, I mean, excuse me, ever since January 5th, I've been staying in Pensacola. And, you know, been brought, have my baby with me as well. We homeschooling out of a hotel, you know, grinding. So, Speaking of grinding there, Fernando, you know, we just can't let that slide. You stay in the gym, but you say you've been in Pensacola. Yes, what you sir. been down in Pensacola doing, man, with the one and only legend Roy Jones Jr., man? Man, a little bit of everything. Working hard, training hard, training with greats, chasing chickens, catching raccoons, fighting, sparring, everything. Everything. So you learn you learn the different trade down there, man. You oh, yeah. you, you compete in a combat sport. Yes, sir. But yeah, you know how to hunt for your own food too. Absolutely, absolutely. Like now now a lot of people tell me I'm a full fledged country boy. Like I got yeah. my stripes now, so I'm with it. I'm with it. For sure, man. If, for those who may not know, you undefeated nine and oh five knockouts, man. Yes, sir. So you step in here for your 10th professional fight, man. Yeah, yes, sir. You know, how does that feel? Oh, man, it's amazing. It's amazing. Like, now, I mean, we're going to go ahead and get this down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they, not, didn't, they never did give me credit for my fight in Mexico So, because I have fought 10 professional fights. But, you know, on paper, this is going to be the 10th, and we're going to get the win. And, you know, if it comes, it's going to be a knockout as well. That's what I'm talking about, man. Any final words for your fight fans before you step in the square? Man, I just, I enjoy it. I'm, I'm extremely grateful for everyone that's tuned in, everyone that supports Team Bunch. Continue to support Team Bunch as well as, as, well as World Combat Sports with Scotty, Scotty, Mr. Scotty White. And uh, <laughs> hey, let's get it done, baby. Team Bunch, Mr. L Terrible in the building. Yes. It's good to see you again, man. Salute from World Combat Sports, man. No doubt, no doubt. Thank you.